So I was contacted by a company by the name of Dehancer. Now, this company makes something pretty slick, and it's something that I've always wanted in my own films and whatnot to emulate something that I used to do. Now, shooting on film was something so different back when I first started because you had to worry about so much things like exposure and, and just everything about it, but it's not only about just that exposure and just all the stuff that goes into creating a film, but it's also about the way that it looks and the way that it feels. There's something about film that adds a characteristic to make something just feel like a movie or just something. It adds this level of heart to it that I feel like digital cinema cameras never really got. Now don't get me wrong, I love the new modern digital cinema cameras. We're shooting on a black magic pocket 6K right now. But I love the Area Alexas. I love some of the reds out there. I love I love where digital is going and where they've come from. Now the one big thing with these digital cinema cameras is that they weren't able to emulate something that film has. And that's its own texture and its own just like heart. The grit the unsharpness, the un the weird characteristics, the halation, the uh, it, everything about film has its own unique look and style to it, and it's just something I've I've missed for so long, kind of up until now. Now, Dehancer has this amazing software plugin that you inject into your editing suite to really give you some cool tools to mimic what I'm used to when I started, which was all that film emulation making this seem like a little bit more cinematic, a little bit more texture, a little bit more something to it. Now, every time I used to shoot on film, there was always something about the way that it looked that really got me excited. Because it's just like you're making this magic, you don't get to see it until it comes out of the, the film and it's processed and all that stuff, and then you finally see it, it's like, ah, there it is, that's film. There's something magical about it. And I feel like the Hansers right there kind of trying to emulate that same magic that I felt when I first started. Don't get me wrong, I, I'll, I'll shoot on film whenever I get a chance to, but here's here's the big drawback. It's price. Price goes a long way in terms of making the decision where you shoot something on digital versus film. With film, there's so much that goes into it. Cost of purchasing the film, cost of exposing the film, cost of developing the film transferring the film, making work pens for everybody to see dailies and whatnot. You have all this stuff that goes into film that just seems obsolete at this point because of where technology is today. But you're losing so much by adapting and adopting this new wave of digital cinema cameras. Now, I love film. I love the way it looks. It's digital cinema cameras, still not fully there. Now, lensing can get you so far if the lens is off front of your camera, but it's not gonna get you everything. Now, on top of filmmaking, motion pictures, all these beautiful things out there, there's one other thing that I think people are kind of forgetting in terms of what this kind of emulation does for you. And it's kind of bringing in this old school kind of home movie vibe, but not like the DV tape, VHS tapes and all that kind of stuff. I'm talking about even older, going back to film, going back to somebody with their Super 8 camera, you know, cranking away, watching their, uh, watching their kids run down the beach or watching somebody hang out in a park. You don't see that anymore, and definitely not here on YouTube. I mean, maybe, I'm sure there's someone out there. I don't want to be, I'm sure there's the, there's always the exception to the rule. That's why so many people use digital cinema cameras now, because it's so easy to just hit a button and you're good to go. You have your footage right there and then. Now, me being someone that's always trying to strive for more movie quality on content creation platforms and whatnot, I'm, I'm always thinking ahead, and the answer adds to that. The answer gives me a way to add halation, add grain, get a film texture that I can't normally get outside of other products. So what does the answer offer? What do they have that, you know, takes digital cinema to a more filmic look? 
on top of just slapping down a LUT, which you see most people do, they always have these LUTs, 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 LUTs. Film emulation's a little bit different, and over here on Dehancer's website, you can actually see how far they go into creating something unique and new that isn't just simply applying a colored LUT on top of your footage. It allows you to tweak that much more to get something a lot more unique and more film characteristics. Now, if you want to treat the answer as something as simple as just slapping on a left, they kind of have that as an option. You can simply drag on the preset and you're kind of good to go with some minor tweaks. But what's cool is you can really start to get in there and really change and, and tweak your settings. You can set halation and how extreme it is. You can set grain. Now with their grain, it's not just something simply slapped on top and that you're mixing into your footage. It's something more than that. It's something that affects the highlights, the shadows, and the mid-tones. Now to give your films a soft and vintage feel, they have a bloom effect. And that effect isn't so much just, let's crank up a glow if effect or filter, it's more adding a little bit of this silky smoothness vintage feel to it that maybe you're not gonna get with other simple plugins and effects. Now, halation is something that people tend to start to add a lot these days. I'm starting to see it more and more, but halation is basically where light is hitting something bright enough that it's almost re-exposing the film just a touch. Now, this is something kind of old school, but just let me tell you, it's kind of when something, there's a highlight in your scene and you get a little subtle glow of reddish orangish. And you see these bulbs everywhere in the frame or neon signs and whatnot, and they kind of have this glow, but they have this warm glow to them, almost like an orange, rusty, kind of red color to them. That's halation. Now with their tool in the answer, you can actually really fine tune and adjust what is actually being affected by the halation process. Now what's cool about the answer is they actually have more than just adding grain, halation, a couple color tweaks. They also have some actual film shakes and whatnot. As the film's traveling through a camera, you know, you get this inconsistent uh, kind of film weave in and it kind of gives it a little bit more like you're running film through a camera it's pretty neat now on top of that you also have film scratches and a whole bunch of other things that actually sell that you're working with film now what really blows my mind about the is how well they don't just create something to just slap on top it's almost like they're working with your footage in a in a different kind of way almost chemically much like film the fact that you can look into the shadows and the midtones and have the grain affected in different ways, the way you can add bloom and inhalation to certain parts of the frame, but not the whole picture. Everything about Dehancer really enhances your image, in my opinion. You get that film look, you get that film quality, and this texture that just adds this different level that you don't see in a lot of other simple effects and plugins. And I, hats off to Dehancer for what they've created here. So on top of Dehancer having all these dips and types of film emulations and everything, they're constantly adding new stuff and they're constantly tweaking it to make it the best user experience. Now they actually just released kind of a beta to me and it's pretty cool. They added a lot more user-friendly kind of icons and drop-down menus to make your stuff way easier to deal with. Different profiles slash presets to really customize the way that you want but not go too far. Now you still get all those options, you can customize things even further, but know that it can be very simple if you just want it to be something you drag and drop a couple of tweaks here and there and you're done. Now whether you're going for a vintage look, a cinematic movie, or anything, you have so much flexibility in the way that you can present your content using Dehancer on top of your already existing editing program. It's so nice and it's so fun to, to tweak and, and modify and color and add grain and halation and just everything to really build up this entirely different image. Now on top of all this, they actually have something like false colors built into their software. Now to make sure you're not kind of clipping or going too far into the shadows or anything like that, they actually have a built-in false color mode. Now that allows you to see where your skin tones are at on the, uh, the exposure level as well as your highlights and your, your mid-tones, your, your, your shadows, all that stuff. So you can really tweak your image to make sure you're still within the safety guidelines of, you know, film and television to make sure that what you're working on is acceptable by everybody. Now adding Dehancer to your existing footage or whatever you have and go right into color correction, add yourself a new node and slap this Dehancer Pro right on top of it. It's great and it's simple and now you just scroll down on the right hand side here and you'll see every little category you might need to go right ahead and uh, really tweak your image. Now you can go beyond all this and set up multiple nodes and have a tree of different types of nodes to really specify what you want where and how it goes in. So if you know about nodes and such inside of DaVinci Resolve, know that this will be as complex as you want it but also as easy as maybe someone that just wants to slap it right on top and start tweaking right away.
Now, Dancer hooked me up with a, uh, a copy of their their suite here, and it's super fantastic. I'm very grateful. Dancer, thank you guys so much. I love what you're doing, and I feel like this is only one step closer towards emulating film in the digital work environment.